Hello guys, today we learn how to export data from SQL Server to CSV file using an SQL Server Integration Services SSIS. For this you have required SQL Server Data Tools for Visual Studio 2015 or SQL Server Data Tool or Visual Studio 2019 and SQL Server Instance. As you know, what is Dataflow Talks? Dataflow Talks is one of the most used talks in SSIS package. The purpose of Dataflow Talks is flow load the data from different type of source to different type of destination. Now here we want to export data from SQL to CSV through SSIS. So first need a database and that database we need a table. So here you can see there is one table, table imply details, and there is three rows, imply ID, imply name, CT, salary. Now how we export data, let us see. Open Visual Studio 2015, go to File, New, Project. Then I have choose Integration Service Project and give the project name like data export in cs and click on ok button so you can see our package dtx in design form will be open and there is here control flow data flow parameters now our cursor is in control flow then need to go toolbox and put the data flow tux and click on double click so you can see data flow tux has been appear on design and now you have to click on data flow tux then here we will get connection ma manager so we have to define source connection and destination connection or source connection in sql and destination connection is flat file so first we need to OLE DB source connections go SSIS toolbox and choose other source in other source we need to click on OLE DB source so you can see our OLE DB source has been comes on design and now also we have put destination source go again SSI tools and you can see here other destinations in other destinations we choose flat file destinations so here you can see flat file destinations now link to OLEDB to flat file destinations first need to configure OLEDB source double click on OLEDB source and you can see here connection managers column error output and OLEDB connection managers now click on new now here need to put connection string so define new also I have to put here server name so how can you get server names server name is the computer name so you can go my property and you can see here our server name is this now paste here server name take SQL server authentications username SA and put here password whatever you have password of DB and stretch this so that DB will be show here click on this and you can see our test sample DB is there and we need to test either it is connected or not click on test connections so you can see here test connection succeeded click on ok then ok and again click on ok so here you can see also define name of table click on this and choose tbl imply details 
and also you can check whether data is present or not click on preview so you can there is three rows here now click on close and need to click on ok now also need to configure flat file destination click double on this and here flat file connection manager click on new here is choose the format of destination flat file delimited so click on ok select a file i specify the properties of the format need to click on browse so need to put the name of the file where your data will be exported like export data in csv file and choose the text format like csv click on open i have put here text qualifier as double quote and you can also row delimiter or header delimiter i have put here vertical bar and column name in the first data row check it and see here columns advance and preview in advance you can change data type here also okay now click on mapping again so here you can see mapping will be done like input column and destination column and click on ok buttons now our both data source source and destination will be configured now i have to run this application click on start so you can see here our package will be successfully run and you can see oledb source right sign and here right sign and also you can how many rows is transfer from source to destination there is three rows now you can check whether our, our file will be created or not also data has been transfer or not go to that folder you have selected like test and i have file name here like stored data in csv and right click and open it so you can see here first row is headers and another three rows is data so our transfer will be done from sql to csv using ss i guess thanks for watching my youtube videos if you want to more videos please subscribe my youtube channel